Good afternoon, my friends from all over the world uh, to another uh, show of hemp engineering. Um, today we have the great pleasure of having uh, Mr. Karan Sarsar, is the CEO of, of uh, Wega Green Tech Technologies in India. Um, he will be a featured speaker in the upcoming Hemp Packaging Expo. Uh, welcome, uh, Karan. Thank you, Ramon. Uh, wishing you a very uh, greetings for the day. It's been a wonderful day ahead. So yeah, too excited to join for this expo. Yes, uh, likewise, because I know the technology that you have been working on um, and also the uh, packaging that you have sent me uh, as a prototype here to Australia and the paper, the paper bags that, I, that are excellent solution. Um, and we both also have the same mentality that the main mission is just simply to stop cutting trees. Um, the products that you are developing um, with, with many uh, uh, input um, add, added value from my company and other companies is something that uh, we're counting the days to flood the market with those products. Nonetheless, um, okay. Karan, how did you end up in the cannabis business? We never talked about that. Yeah, so basically, uh, I was inspired by a, a TV show on uh, National Geographic Channel where they were showing the Kestrel car. So it was world's first zero carbon, zero emission car, which uh, inspired me. And the secret about that was it was made out of hemp. So I was too excited to explore what is this hemp. And later on, the, for the next consecutive three years, we did a, a simultaneous research on the same. And we found out that this is a home-oriented uh, billion dollar crop, which can make every one of, uh, of us billionaires, as well as it can also make our life sustainable. So that's how we ended up uh, getting into cannabis industry uh, by specializing in engineering and uh, engineering, uh, engineering application products like packaging, uh, like automotive, like uh, fuel. So there are multiple sectors. And uh, currently working on the packaging sector, it's been quite innovative for us. And, but I see, uh, first, I want to highlight the fact that you are an engineer and a and, and very young fellow. And uh, this is an industry that is being led by all hippies. Um, and you are, you know, an inspiration, a rising star in this industry and coming from India where were one of the largest population on earth. And now that we have a, a free trade market between our countries, Australia and India, I think there is a long way to go in beautiful things that we can do for the world. That's what I believe. Yeah, absolutely. So like it had been a very controversial as well as a struggle kind of journey for us. Like uh, in India still there, are, there is a stigma against uh, and it is a bit controversial here like about the classification and uh, characterization of uh, cannabis like uh, differentiating it between the narcotic content as well as the non-narcotic. So that has been a major challenge for us which we have tried overcoming uh, with the government and I like simultaneously right now uh, even our government is trying to understand that it has been uh, like we are actually contributing in increasing the economics of the country as well as other collaborating with other countries definitely will share uh, while sharing these contents eventually will it's a mutual benefit for, for everybody, all, for all everybody. 
yeah so coming up with uh, this thing at such an age it's like i still feel like i know i just know 2% of the whole uh, whole system so that's still a lot to learn and uh, yeah uh, it's like the enthusiasm that keeps us going the challenges and ex- uh, especially the problem solving potential what hemp has that is what we are focused on so we think in a very different way if you have a problem we have a solution so that's how we try to help uh, our society get into a sustainable environment as well as an affordable at an affordable value so usually still people feel like hemp products a hemp uh, hemp industry is quite expensive it is not it's all about uh, like engineers like us which makes uh, things sustainable as well as affordable so that's what we work on which is the challenge for our companies because if we are able to do well, as we are trying to do to lower the prices then we will get more uh, customers to reach out uh, unfortunately the uh, products are expensive in this moment Uh, primarily because it's a new industry, the technology is new, and there is not enough production to satisfy the market as much as we want. But in the 1980s, same thing happened with the computers, and now everything is reachable and accessible to everyone. So it's just a matter of having patience. Um, and you, like I say, you're a young engineer, and you have a long way to go. definitely so basically coming back to these 1980s like india had exchanged uh, in 1985 that we had exchanged uh, our technologies with the uh, us in 1985 uh, mr our late uh, ex prime minister mr uh, rajiv gandhi had signed the pact with americans to provide us it uh, information technology like the computers to bring into india and we had traded off for the value of cannabis industry so we had to ban this in our country and rest of the world and eventually americans did take advantage of that and right now they uh, eventually like they have taken the lead in this industry but yet since it is it is a ancient crop uh, mentioned in our vedas and old transcripts uh which have been written several thousand years like more than 4000 years old books that we have uh this is a plant which comes with a lot of benefits so let it be medical technical or textile so that has kept us uh, right now we are trying to explore more and more of that simultaneously looking forward for the opportunity definitely we uh, see there is a wrong perception that using 100% hemp will actually help so instead of that we engineers we want to utilize the optimum value of hemp like if the optimum value for a particular application is 30% of the whole uh, weight so definitely we should be using 30% rather than using a hey, 100% and again about the abundance of the availability of raw material i would uh, suggest you all we did a bre- uh, like uh, was survey we found out that there is a plenty amount of raw material available it is just that there are middlemen and market lobbying people who are trying to hold these uh, hold this material back so that they can price it at a higher value when it is in demand and due to which our end product gets expensive but to overcome that as well we are limiting the value uh, limiting the uh, content of hemp only as per application so in this way we keep it cost effective as well as even if the raw material gets it expensive we still manage to bring it to a competitive price which is a, which is a challenge in this moment to be competitive exactly karan so what are your expectation for this upcoming hemp packaging expo 
yeah so i'm quite uh, our team is quite excited to bring up some new uh, innovations in these packaging uh, units like uh, the composite packaging then uh, multiple uh, fiber packaging then bringing up pellets so currently we are using plastic pellets for international shipping right yes. with the containers so instead of that why don't we use a hemp uh, pellets which can be recyclable like you can reuse it with some other container so it since it has high tensile strength high uh, compression strength so this would be a better option and it won't uh, let the, the packaging get uh, damaged uh, even if there is some hap hazard happening due to natural calamities so we are looking forward for a very good approach where uh, we actually have shared some samples with you so we are coming up with uh, the green packaging we are coming up with uh, multiple uses like not only replacement for single use bags but eventually we are looking for replacement for every plastic exactly. which in be which is being circulated exactly along with accord uh, along with our team is working on cutlery as well where you can have a disposable glass disposable plate disposable cutlery so in this way we'll have everything sustainable around us which will be 100% re recyclable which will also cost less during uh, recycling meant as well as the quantity of plastic should be reduced see we are not uh, uh, we are not trying to kill off the plastic industry but eventually we are trying to limit their application according to its use right now we are totally dependent our life is surrounded with a lot of plastic every square inch we are facing a lot of plastic uh, wastage solid disposal uh, heaps and all so which is bringing out uh, microplastics into our uh, body as well like uh, recent research some people from uk found out that uh, there are uh, microplastic into the blood vessel uh, oh, yes. blood flowing into yes so yes. that has been a major issue and this was predicted by one of my partners named akshay chede who is a biotech engineer he had predicted back in 2016 that he wouldn't be surprised to see that these microplastic entering into human body and would become a part of us without our uh, without our, uh, without even we knowing it that it is within us could you so i was that time yeah that time that time i was just uh, like okay you're saying something that's Is but i did not believe him but uh, eventually looking at today's scenario uh, microplastic is uh, on a rise because people are being misguided about the biodegradable plastic the concept about biodegradable plastic in market according to them is they are using starch 80% and 20% of pp plastic or pe plastic so when starch dissolves in water there are only microplastic which cannot be seen that 20% is so harmful that it cannot be seen so that is where we are being like manipulated and being bringing up hemp packaging will actually solve these problems because even if we uh, exchange the, these packaging like for example if you bought a hemp packaging bag you have taken it to your house you have used it and in return in your next packaging you just give that as an exchange we would exchange that for certain cents or dollars with you all in this way we take it back we recycle it and we give you a better product we keep on going and we keep the cycle going. keeps going in this way we keep a sustainable chain moving recyclable economy we keep seeing you as exactly. everything absolutely like what a great pleasure listening to you karan your mind is so brilliant so and we are so mentally aligned of course that's why we're business partners <laughs> 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 i hope uh, very soon uh, things will materialize in our favor and we will reach more people with our products which is at the end of the day what we're after karan 
uh, once again, thank you for your brief moment with us. And you are a featured speaker in the Hemp Packaging Expo. And I will be looking forward to listening to your presentation and, and seeing your products as well. Thank you so much, Ramon, for this opportunity. It, uh, I, our team would be glad to join you all as a uh, speaker, as well as uh, I would be personally like whatever happens and whatever I can contribute towards the making this ecosystem a better place to live in. So that would be our target. Instead of building homes on Mars, why not make this place a better place to live for live in? For? Exactly right. So that's how. Exactly right. Exactly right. Exactly right, my brother. Love and peace for you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.